every day, every morning, I go out and milk my goats. And every day, you gotta take care of the goats and all the animals. Just a part of owning them. And right now, I am milking only just once a day. So in the mornings, I go out and milk. And then at night, it's just generally feeding them, making sure they have water and that all is well before they go to bed that night. So follow me as we go on our daily routine with the goats and go out to the goat barn and see how, every, how everyone's doing. We are already into January, so it is the middle of winter here up in Montana and it is cold there's a little skiff of snow not as much snow as normal and, and it gets uh, fairly cold at night but actually today it's going to be in the 40s so that is a special treat for us up here when it's so warm in the middle of winter truthfully though before i can head out to my goats i have to go into our little garage here i can't resist they're so cute These little guys were not expected. We did not plan for this. You know, we pray a lot. All right, little one. One of our main prayers that we pray is, God put us where we need to be with what we need to have. And we got a call the other morning that said, uh, there was chicks delivered to the post office and ours they weren't supposed to be delivered until April. Do you want them? We're not ready for them. And we said, uh, yes, okay, let's get ready. So 102 chicks came the other morning. They're laying hens and we'll see what God has planned for us. Can we put you back? Okay, okay, just a second. I know you're hungry, let's get you some food. Oh, there's so many distractions on the way. I gotta talk to my Turk. He's always showing off for me. <laughs> hey, Dirk. Who are you, buddy? Good to see you, Snood. Good to see you. <laughs> You're always showing off. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh, the hen. She's inside there laying an egg for me. We've been eating turkey eggs. They're pretty good. Hi, kitty. I don't know, there's so many distractions. I gotta say good morning to the piggies too. Oh, piggies. Yes, are you guys under there? Hello, mama. Yes. Where are those piggies? So the first thing that I do when I get out here is grab my pitchfork and scrape away all the hay that they have spilled on the ground and wasted. If I don't do this before I feed them, their feet are planted, and believe me, it's impossible to move a stubborn goat that's planted its feet. <laughs> so I'll get this cleaned up and, and then go to the next step. <sighs> Stinker goats. So the next thing that I do is clean up my pile of hay here. Now, I think my mind said that I was on vacation during Christmas and New Year's, <laughs> so I haven't cleaned it up for a couple of weeks. <laughs> True confession. <laughs> but if I do this daily, usually there's like half a wheelbarrow or less. You know, if I do this every couple days even, it's probably not even a wheelbarrow. So, what do you think? How many wheelbarrows will this pile be? I'm thinking four or five, but with the way that I carry in groceries, I think it's gonna be four wheelbarrows full because I'll pile it really high. What do you think? What's your guesses? How many wheelbarrows full? So I take this to the pigs because there's nothing wrong with the hay. It's only crime is that it hit the ground and goats don't eat hay that's hit the ground. So I'll take, take it to the pigs and they'll slurp it up. Oh, yeah. Wheelbarrow number two. Take it to the pigs now. If I didn't clean this up regularly or if I didn't clean it up around my feeder, this feeder would be buried by spring and it's really hard to get out, believe me. 
And one more load, load number four. We'll stop there so I'm right. <laughs> There's a bit more, but if I start doing a load a day, again, like I was before, I'll be able to catch up pretty quickly. So, when you own a farm, there's lots of work to do. All right, next up is to feed those goats. They need their hay. So twice a day, I feed my goats half a bale of what the goats that I have now I feed them half a bale in the morning and half a bale at night so I, I split that up where the, the the boy goats get a couple little flakes and then the girls get the rest of that half a bale so that's how it's working right now if I feed them too much the girls they um, will waste it they will pick through and and waste more than if I feed them just the right amount so that's important to pay attention to as well Goats will waste a lot of hay. Okay, another little chore that I do before milking is take my rake and just rake up all the, the poop that is inside this barn here. And I rake it outside and scrape it away from, from the door kind of towards my hay pile that I clean up every day. So that doesn't take very long though, especially when I'm doing it every day, which is nice. I found that truly with owning animals, the more you can do on a daily basis to make the workload easier is the best way to do it. You just, instead of letting it pile up like I did with all that hay, if I do that every day, it takes little bits of time. So it's important to just be disciplined and do that. All right, let's get on to the milking. Finally, it's milking time. This is the light. This is the opal. What are you doing? You feeding them like a treat? All right, ladies, let's go in and get milked, okay? Faith is waiting. Here we go. All right, Faith. Jump, jump up on this side, Faith. Jump up. Just go. There you go. So every day, no matter what, rain, sun, shine, snow, sleep, hail, no matter what, if you have milking goats, you got to milk them. And so you figure out the routine that works best for you and you get it done. If you don't do that, you are setting up your goats to have um, can, you know, utter problems where they might even get mastitis because you didn't milk them out. And so just remember, it's really important to, to do that. So I had brought, I brought in from inside uh, the, my cleaning solution and my after treat spray. So I got those ready. If I leave them out in the barn, uh, then they're frozen and then they don't work and that's frustrating. So I got to remember to bring them in. <laughs> Here we go. Yes, I'm going to clean you up. All right. As a young girl feels my mind, we played hide and seek for hours. All right, so she's done being milked. Now, so I've cleaned her, I've milked her, and now I'll use my teat utter spray afterwards. Our shadows among the vines. That feels so good. So offshore, so they cool. fall and free. Oh, yes, you feel it. It's nice because I have my goats pretty well trained. They kind of know the order of what when of you know which one comes in next and so i can usually just go to the door and call one of them and they come in and jump up so that's nice i don't have to fight it let's see who who's here oh see we got eva here and she's next and she knows it and then fiona's next after that all right come in eva no oh, not you you gotta wait come on eva <laughs> Oh. Come on, Eva. 
We kind of got mixed up, didn't we? No, stop. There we go. There we go. Yeah. So we'll go through the same process and I'll just clean her up and milk her and get her cleaned up afterwards, put on the teeth spray. So it's just a very good, easy routine. You just kind of get in the habit of and just do um, over and over every day. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, let's get you switched, Faith. Let's get you, let's get Fiona in here, your daughter. Come on. Quite flexible. You're quite flexible. Okay, let's see if Fiona's here. Oh, there's a whole herd of them. <laughs> Fiona knows she's next. There you go. I'll get you some rain. Up. Oh, look at this. She's already letting down her milk there. I better get her milk. Ah, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Just a second. Just a second. I'm not milking much. Look at that dripping. Okay, let's get you milked. Oh, there it goes even more. Look at letting down all her milk. <laughs> Guess I don't need the milk, she'll just let it down. Isn't that funny? <laughs> now clean up my mess. My old rags. <laughs> oh, you Alright, Eva. Yes, let's get you switched. Alright. Here we go. Is there an uh, Olivia waiting? Where did Olivia go? Yes, you. Come on. Come on. Daydream. <laughs> oh, Olivia. Come on. I'll take you along tonight for my evening chores as well. So once the morning is done, we go in and do homeschool, uh, do some other project, whatever project it, project it is that we're working on for the day, do some errands, and then do the evening chores. <laughs> so it's definitely a routine. It's definitely daily. <laughs> and it's fulfilling. It really is. Are you getting crabby? Don't get crabby. She likes it when I reach back and feed her grain out of my hand while I'm milking. <laughs> I don't know why. What's the difference between it uh, in the box or in my hand? I don't know. All right, that does it for the milking. The milking is done now. Now I just need to get it inside and and strained. Now actually today I realized that I need to make some yogurt. So instead of just putting in my half gallon jars like I normally do, I will actually just go in, strain it, and turn this into yogurt. Yum, yum.
Yum, yum. So thanks for the milk. Thanks for the milk. <sighs> thanks for the milk. Before I go in though, I need to get this grain put in, in here. One thing I always do before I leave is I come out here and put the milk up here. Don't you dare knock that off. Make sure the gate is this, this is closed for sure. Okay, so I always check their their minerals here. So I have I always just like make sure that there's some minerals that are not you know that it's full there they have enough there actually this one is low so I am gonna fill it so that's something that's really important is goat minerals you need to have loose minerals out at all times for them to, to have don't put it on the grain don't top dress it always have it for loose minerals where they can access it at any time and then check it regularly check it off and to make sure that that it's good to go They really like this. Yes, they do. All right, so the chores are done. The goats are fed, they're watered, they're milked, they have minerals, and they've got sun to soak up all day long. It's a great day. It's a great day, isn't it, goats? to stop and say good morning piggies good morning little piggies <laughs> and when I take off the nut butter bag you can see you can see that the milk is very clean I will strain it again like I said I will turn it into some yogurt today we love goat milk yogurt windstorm right now it is crazy windy like you almost to blow over we've been out trying to get things hooked down so they don't blow away it's crazy but it is time to do evening chores <laughs> right now it's getting it's definitely dark by five we're in the middle of winter so I go out about four o'clock and I try to get all my chores done within that hour so that uh, I don't have to battle the darkness. So I always come out and, and do that. So really it's pretty easy in the evening right now. It's with the goats. All I need to do is check their water, make sure that there's enough water for them, and then give them some hay and that's it. Uh, I don't milk them at night and, and of course then there's the other animals I, that I need to feed and take care of. But for the goats it's pretty simple. Thank you so much for spending this time with me and my goats. I appreciate that so much. I hope that gives you an idea of what it, what it can look like in a daily routine for goats. Let me know in the comments below. What does your daily routine look like? And what is your the most favorite part about your daily routine with your goats? I hope you have a great day. And as always, I'll see you in that next video.